everybody welcome to my channel my name is faith and in today's video um i just want to speak what's on my heart i have avoided it for a very long time but i just feel led to go ahead and share it and this is it um i'm really disappointed with the black pastors in the body of christ most of them not all of them there's only one pastor that i've actually seen church is bowing he'll go the hard part right here and i'm finished but this is the tough part y'all ain't gonna like this part <laughs> but there are two gods that the black church and i don't like to say black church because god don't divide his church black and white we all are part of the church but i'm saying it to give reference to the african-american churches two gods that many are bowing to today and that's the god of lgbtq mm -hmm and the God of blackness. People have made a God out of color. In other words, I gotta be with my color. I gotta stand with my color, meaning I'll reject Christ. Color gonna get you in trouble. I'm not saying you don't love your people, but if my people go contrary to my convictions, I can't stand with you. The pastor at Lily Grove in Texas, I'm really disappointed. I wasn't too happy about that, but I'm all in now. I'm 100% I'm, I'm, I'm now for this reason. This, this representative from, from Tennessee, sorry Connie, from Tennessee, he called her a DEI candidate. And then they start calling her colored. And then they start calling her out of her name. And as a black man, I can't let no white man talk about no sister like that. See what I mean? Are you a black man or are you a man of God? There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither slave nor free. There is neither male nor female for you are all one in Christ Jesus. For the Bible declares that if any man is in Christ, man, woman, if you're in Christ, you're a new creature. Old things have passed away and behold, all things have become new. Is Kamala Harris really your sister because the Bible also declares to be friends with the world is an enemy to God she's not a Christian she's not a Christian at all she supports transgender rights she supports the LGBT community you know she supports all of that all of those are sexual sins the Lord doesn't support their rights as far as um, that they should get married and stuff like that because marriage is between a man and a woman, not the same sex. But she's your sister? Well, if she's your sister, then you're not a true follower of Jesus Christ because she also supports abortions and especially after the 20th week. Well, Proverbs says that's shedding of innocent blood. But she's your sister. Whose side are you on? For the Bible declares also that no man can serve two masters. You will either love one and hate the other. So it's time out for pastors who stand on their sanctimonious soapbox and declare that they support a candidate just because of their color. Is Jesus for a woman? A woman? Having authority over a man? Hmm. What does the Bible say? First Timothy chapter 2 verse 12. And I do not permit a woman to teach or have authority over a man, but to be in silence. For Adam was formed first, then Eve, and Adam was not deceived but the woman being deceived fell into so i'm calling out all leaders who are 
following this woman only because she's black. Man looks on the outward appearance, but God judges the heart. The Bible says that God stands to the right side of those who are in need. I will greatly praise the Lord with my mouth. Yes, I will praise him among the multitude, for he shall stand at the right hand of the poor to save him from those who condemn him. President Trump was shot in his ear on the right side. I ask that anybody who has a brain and anybody that has eyes, look at this man. Wouldn't he be the obvious choice that God would pick? I mean, any other person would have been dead. But just at the appointed time in the right position, he just happened to turn his head at that very moment and did not die but still lived. And he proclaimed the works of the Lord in the land of the living. Everybody you know the assassin's bullet came within a quarter of an inch of taking my life. Turned to my right and was ready to begin a little bit further turn, which I'm very lucky I didn't do. When I heard a loud whizzing sound and felt something hit me really, really hard on my right ear. I said to myself, wow, what was that? It can only be a bullet. And moved my right hand to my ear, brought it down. My hand was covered with blood, just absolutely blood all over the place. There was blood pouring everywhere, and yet, in a certain way, I felt very safe because I had God on my side. But yet, all these pastors out here who are racist in their heart, they can't see that because of their own hatred for the next man. I pray that God deals with all of you. You are hypocrites in the pulpit. I'm also making this point to D1. And yeah, I know I'm late. D1, how could you say that you were more pro-God than you were pro-black? I'm not pro-black more than I'm pro-God. Mm. And I don't care what black people think. You know what I'm saying? Am I black? Am I proud to be black? Yes. But I'm not pro-black more than I'm pro-God, man. But you support Kamala Harris. I used to listen to you. I liked your, your, your point of view on certain things. But, sir, I'm here to tell you that I'm convinced that you are a hypocrite as well. Just another hypocrite. Just somebody who's following culture instead of Christ. I am a U.S. Navy veteran. And as a veteran, I wouldn't feel comfortable in this country if anyone other than Donald Trump were the commander in chief. God bless.